welcome to uh, today's webinar. So today we are going to consider uh, what we call smoothing of uh, a classific a classify image. Most time when an uh, image is uh, classified, you will discover that you have some uh, speckle or this what is called a pepe uh, uh, effect on the land uh, cover map. So you will uh, see it having this salt and pepe appearance due to inherent uh, spectral variabilities. Like this map now you can see, like here we have seven, seven uh, classes. We have water built up, dense vegetation, sparse vegetation, mango, sun and basil. You could see here, there are some pixels that you will just see a single pixel. So what mm -hmm. we do most time is to do carry kind of what we call post classification analysis. Uh, to uh, clean them up, so, so you will um, indicate the number of pixels that uh, should be ignored. What the system will do is that it will uh, allocate the land that uh, pixel to a larger neighboring land cover so that you will have a smoother map. This is quite important because it will make the map look more uh, as uh, more beautiful. So it depends on the, uh, the number of pixels you want to ignore but QGIS has a lot of functionality to achieve that so this is a land cover map it's just a section of a land cover map so to achieve that normally you go to SCP um, uh, menu you go to post processing on that you will see uh, what is called a classification sieve so when you talk of sieving, it's like trying to remove some uh, smaller particle from the uh, image. If you click it, you have to come down here before you can see the function. I hope you can see it, right? Display semi-automatic classification plugin. Yes, I can. Okay. So there are a lot of things that you can do here. Accuracy assessment, classification report, if you want to know the area like saving classification signature you can even edit rasters but we are not going into this now editing raster is when you have like two land cover type reflecting or having the same reflectant like built up being classified as best sand so there is a way that you can reclassify that best soil as built up so you can edit the raster you can do land cover change so classification also you can match two or more classes or we class so a lot of things, but today we are going to look at classification sieve. So if you click the classification sieve, it will bring this uh, view for you. If uh, it is not there, this select you can refresh this. You can see all the uh, 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 files loaded in my view. If you go here, you can see them, but we are looking at land cover map of GSH means geospatial hot. Okay, before we go further, I want to explain something here. We have what we call size threshold and we have pixel connection type. We have two pixel connection type, one that consider the diagonal pixel and the other that does not recognize the diagonal pixel will sit down from the help. This uh, threshold is to tell the machine that any pixel that is less than two, just merge it, give it to the next land cover. If you choose like a uh, land that has a 30 by 30 meter pixel, if you choose two, so any pixel less than two, it will just allocate it. If you choose nine, it means that any land cover type that has pixel less than nine will be uh, given to the neighbor with the largest land or the dominant land uh, cover type surrounding that uh, those uh, those uh, pixels. So if you go to help, what you see, you can see that the tab allow for the replacement of isolated pixel value with the value of the largest neighbor parts, patch. It is useful for removing small patches from a classification. Um, size threshold so when we uh, talk of the size uh, uh, threshold you could see that um, size of the patch to be replaced 
in pixel unit. All parts smaller than the selected number of pixels will be replaced by the value of the largest neighbor. Then when you talk of pixel connection, select the type of pixel connection. If you choose four in a three by three window, a diagonal pixel are not connected. In eight, if you choose eight in a three by three window, a diagonal pixel are considered connected. So we will try different one to see how uh, they work. So if we go back to our tool, if I put, maybe let me put nine, two, just two, and choose four by four. Is that okay? So if I click run, it will take me to where it want me to save the word. Maybe I'll put a L C M G S H uh, underscore two underscore four, meaning the threshold is two and the pixel connection is four. I will click save. Then I'll click it to run automatically. When you like click save, it will run by itself. So you wait for it. So you will hear a view. It has finished running. So this is the map. Now, I want us to look at this map now. You will discover that if I click it, if I let us zoom to, can you see this pixel one, right? So if I bring up the map, yeah. we cover that the pixel have disappeared, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. the one here, it has cleanable, it has, allocated the dense vegetation to spread vegetation. You, you can see. Yeah. So now let us also try uh, using the same uh, threshold with different connection, which is eight and see then we will now come and try nine. So it will be nine pixels. So anything less than nine pixel, it will merge it or it will just allocate it to the next, uh, to the dominant neighbor. So we click run. We go back to this and change this one to connection type eight, whereby the diagonal will be considered it will run. That's finished running. Let's just switch it on. You can let me. When you okay, if I you could see here it consider more than one pixel, right? If you look at that of four. You can see yeah. this one. So you can see this one as well. But what Not this yet. one, so there is, you can see almost the same thing because we are using the same uh, threshold. So now let us change mm. the threshold to tell it to consider like nine pixels. And let yes. us consider four. Let's see how it will be. If we use this one. I'll say uh, the threshold will be four. Four, okay, nine by four. Tell it to save. It will run. You hear a beep. Let's see. So now you can see the map. Mm. If I, you can see the original map, right? Can you see the difference yeah. now? So it has matched all the Clearly. smaller pixel that make it to have the salt and pepper effect. It has made them oh. into dominant language. So it makes your map to look more uh, beautiful because normally these uh, salt are due to smaller pixels, but you know, in mapping, there's what we call exaggeration. Sometimes you have to reclassify mm -hmm. or that thing. You have to encapsulate because it will not be, depending on the scale, if the scale is big, you will not even see them. So. Most most time, what uh, it is done is to match the land cover with the dominant neighbor. So if we change the uh, other threshold again, you can see that your map looks more beautiful now. So let us try the same uh, threshold, but using it by it. I hope you can see this same um, automatic classification plugin window. Yes, I okay. can. So, so if we choose it now, let us see the effect. So you can increase this depending on, on, your, on your requirement or the size or the scale. 
uh, of your of your map because sometimes uh, even if you leave every feature on your map if it is uh, if the scale is quite small it will not even show even some uh, some of the villages will not show so it will run it has finished running let us look at the difference you can see the difference now it's quite small but you mm. can see when uh, we use nine threshold and nine, nine connection mm. type you can see so one will consider diagonal one will not consider diagonal so depending on the uh, spatial resolution of your image or your yeah either one meter or 30 meter so you can actually minimize the salt and pepper effect on your classify map so basically it's a simple process maybe the next one we will uh, talk about how to replace value for instance uh, this uh, place supposed to be actually a sand not built up what is shown as red mm -hmm. how can you tell the machine to replace mm -hmm. anything here and give it sand instead of built up so you can do that as well so you can reclassify you can clean up so all of them are under post processing so it is cleaning up of your image to make it look more like a map so you can see with this one you see everything is it's not better so you will now choose either to use a four by four or eight either to consider diagonal or not to consider diagonal so you have to read more to like understand what each of those uh, parameters means so we can see we have a better map compared to the original one. you can see the original one it has some some noise let me say more like you know, but you can see the this thing the uh this is the original one you can see it looks better isn't it it looks yes. more clean so you mm -hmm. all the effect of a small small pixel uh and making the map look uh, somehow is removed so basically that's what we will cover for uh today it's just a simple exercise